Hi everyone and welcome to a little tutorial about how to add your first video file and how to set up your video. So when you open up the application which is in the ICT folder you'll see this blue window that pops up over here. Okay so these two blue windows are very very important because what we're going to do we're going to set up our project. Okay so what I'm going to do this button here where it says projects folder I'm going to click on this one first. Okay I'm going to go to, by default, it should open up a videos folder. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this one. If I just go to new folder at the top left hand corner, I'm going to say my year eight video. Okay. So with my year eight video, any kind of files that I create for my video are going to go into this folder here. Okay. Now, Project name, we need to give it something that we'll actually remember. So I'm going to call this My Year 8 Project. So it's nice and easy to remember. And here, by default, you guys will have this button where it says automatic. Now, I've chosen this one just as a default. So it will come up with like this uh, automatically. But what I will do, as a little bit of a bonus for you, if you go down, you have all of your video types and all your video settings. What we're going to do within school, we're going to call HD 1080p 60 frames per second, which means 60 individual photo shots per second. Um, I would not recommend going any higher than where it says 1080p. Uh, because we don't simply have the hardware within the school. It takes up a lot of hardware space, so your hard drive takes up a lot, a lot of capacity within there. And also, you need a very good graphics card to render all of these types of videos here. So recommendation, go for HD 1080p, 60 frames per second. Okay, so what you'll have here is everything's going to be blank, and that's a really good start. On the top right hand corner, you'll have your projects, what you've been working on. So as you can see, I've got different types of videos that I've always been working on, but I'm just gonna make sure this one at the very, very top has been selected, okay? So you have a couple of main panes that we need to be working with. On the left hand side here, this dark gray area, this is where all of our files, when we add them in later, are going to be added to this area. So we can click and drag, and we can add some more files to it. This lighter gray area is going to be where our video is going to be broadcasted. So we get a little bit of a preview of what the video actually looks like. The main part of our window, funnily enough, is actually the bottom part over here. This is where we can actually make a couple of changes to our timeline. But as you can see at the moment, the timeline is absolutely blank. So what we need to do is go to the very bottom left hand corner. We've got display and menu of additional actions. If we click on this button over here, we can add our timeline. We need to go to track operations. And what I'll do for the time being, I'm going to add one audio track and one video track. Now, this is really important because what I'm going to have, I'm going to have my video and then I'm going to have backing music behind it later on. So I'm going to add a video track. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to add an audio track over here. So you'll see here one is called V1. I can rename that if I really want to. So this is going to be main video. And then I could go over here where it says A1. I'm going to call this one backing track. Okay. So I'm happy to get myself set up now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find a particular file. So if I go to the top left hand corner, I can open up a file that I've already downloaded onto my computer or I've downloaded from OneDrive or Google Drive, and I can place this into my video. So if I click on open file, I'm going to make a gaming video. I'm going to start off with just this one over here. So FIFA 20, if I click on this one, go to open. It opens up within here, so it just gives a little bit of preview. Okay, so this area, as you can see here, just gives you a little bit of a preview of what that video is going to be. As you can see, it's not added into this part, which means we need to make sure it's actually added into our video clip. So what it's trying to do, it acts as a video player for this part. So what we need to do, if we click on where it says playlist, we should have our playlist already listed up. We click on the plus icon. And now with that video that I've already got playing over here, I can add this into it. Okay, so I've got this video already laid out and I can just click, drag and drop my video into where I want it to be. Okay, so 
Now I have my video already playing. So what I could do, if I just drag this across, right to the very, very start, I can click on play and it'll play it again. Okay, so it's playing that video. So what I can do, I can actually do a little couple of really smart ideas. So I can just say, right, over here, I've got 25 seconds, or just over 25 seconds. And I think that's a little bit too long. So what I can do, I can just shorten it down a little bit by clicking the end. So it should go with thick red at the very, very end. I click and then I can move it just back a little bit further. So you'll hear the sound in the background, okay? And that's a good thing because it's saying it's actually playing in the background and actually changing things around. So if I move this across, what it's done, it's actually clipped it, okay? So if I move across, Okay, it's clipped the last couple of seconds. And if I think, oh, I've made a little bit of a mistake, what I can do, I can click on undo. So at the very, very top where it's got edit, I can just undo, undo that trim and it goes back to the way it was. Okay, so gentlemen, that is how you add in your first video into your track. Now, if your teacher is ready to move on to the next part, feel free to do so. Give us a little bit of a try in the application and I'll speak to you soon.